Now let's move on to writing. Page 43. Letter of inquiry. A letter of inquiry is written to find information about something. Task 11. During your summer vacation, you're planning to take up an internship with a leading organization in your city and you need to write a letter of inquiry to the HR manager. What kind of letter would this be? Formal or informal? Of course, formal. A letter of inquiry asks someone for specific information. Hence, the tone and the content of the letter must make it easy for the recipient to identify and provide the information that you require. Who's a recipient? One who receives it. Okay, you write a letter and the person who receives the letter is the recipient. Take the points that you would include in the letter. Please pause the video, do it and then we will discuss. A. A brief self-introduction. Yes, you will include that. B. An inquiry about the annual profit the company makes. No. C. A request for internship. Yes, because that's our purpose. D. Details about your medical history. No. E. When you would be available for work. No, because you're writing for internship, not to have a job in that organization. F. The reason why you want this internship. Very important, so you have to include that. G. Details about your participation in sports or cultural activities. No, not required. H. Technical knowledge about the nature of the work. Yes, this is important to include. I. Your contact details. Yes. J. Enquiry about the availability of internship opportunities or positions. Yes, you will include this. Task 12. Here is a letter based on the situation in task 11. Read the letter carefully. Identify and label its parts. Choose from the options in the box. Please pause, do the task and then we will discuss. Those sounds that you hear are from peacocks from the back of my house. Right, let's look at the answers here. A is the sender's address. B, date. C, the receiver's address. D, the opening salutation. And E, the subject line. We can see that the first paragraph includes self-introduction and stating of purpose. So you speak a little about yourself and tell them why you're writing the letter. The second paragraph includes further details about the inquiry. And the third one includes timelines and follow-up. Is the subject line clear and concise? Yes. How can the receiver contact the sender? The profile is included so they can get the information from there. Now let's move on to letters of complaint. We are on page 45. A letter of complaint is a formal letter or mail which is used to draw attention to concerns like poor quality of service, damaged goods, malfunctioning products, etc. In a letter of complaint, whatever the nature of distress or annoyance, one must always maintain a polite but firm tone. Task 14 Gautam had seen the following advertisement at his workplace regarding a new sporting facility for the employees. Underline the important points in the advertisement. 
Please pause and do the task and then we will discuss. Okay, number two. Gautam visited the sports center and took up a membership. After a couple of weeks, he realized that he was not satisfied with the facilities and the quality of service. Here is a letter of complaint that he wrote to the management on this matter. Read the letter and discuss the following questions with your friends. Can you discuss them with your friends? You cannot. So just read and make a note of the points. Please pause and do it. Now let's move on to letters of complaint. We are on page 45. A letter of complaint is a formal letter or mail which is used to draw attention to concerns like poor quality of service, damaged goods, malfunctioning products, etc. In a letter of complaint, whatever the nature of distress or annoyance, one must always maintain a polite but firm tone. Task 14 Gautam had seen the following advertisement at his workplace regarding a new sporting facility for the employees. Underline the important points in the advertisement. Please pause and do the task and then we will discuss. Okay, number two. Gautam visited the sports center and took up a membership. After a couple of weeks, he realized that he was not satisfied with the facilities and the quality of service. Here is a letter of complaint that he wrote to the management on this matter. Read the letter and discuss the following questions with your friends. Can you discuss them with your friends? You cannot. So just read and make a note of the points. Please pause and do it. 1. Is this a formal letter or an informal letter? It is a formal one. Which features of the letter tell you this? We can see that in the layout of the letter. Everything is in the right format. Okay, You have the sender's address, then the date, and then the receiver's address, and the salutation, then the subject, and then the body of the letter, and then the leave taking. Okay, and the writer's name. Even the vocabulary tells us that it is a formal letter. What does the writer say in the first paragraph? He makes a general statement of the problem. Number three, in which paragraphs of the letter does he give the specific details of the problems? In paragraph two, it is given here very clearly. And then in paragraph 3, he gives more details. What is the significance of the last paragraph? Do you think it must be included in a letter of complaint? Of course, because that paragraph states the purpose of the letter. Here, the writer wants the receiver to take some action and solve his problem. Number 5. Briefly discuss the tone of the letter. Is it polite, rude, firm, pleasant, etc. So, we can see that the letter is very polite. You can see that in the words that the person has used. He is no, not rude at all. Okay, we can see he says in the third paragraph, I feel that better facilities should have been provided. He is not demanding anything. He's making a request. He's saying what he thinks in a very polite way. And then in the end, he says, I request you to look into the matter. Yeah, he's very polite. At the same time, he's very firm as well. Okay? He states all the facts directly. While writing a letter of complaint, think about the following questions and organize the paragraphs in your letter accordingly. Why are you writing this letter? State the problem clearly. What is your specific complaint? Specific details of the complaint you have to include. You must include dates for reference. 
What do you want the recipient to do? The request for action. You must be clear as to what you're expecting from the recipient of your complaint.